Maybe I should put my arm on top of your arm. Let's do an arm sandwich. So you put my elbow on top. Oh, that's a stretch. Holy. Ah. Ah. I just tore every muscle in my shoulder. Well, no episode today. Okay, no. Now put your arm on top of my arm. Did you just wake up? I wasn't actually dead. Gotcha. Okay. Put your arm on top. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my. Now your other arm. Arm sandwich. With a little side of mayo. Oh my god. Welcome to our video. <laughs>
You were, I, you went a little far once. Give me though. the credit for credit is due. Because I don't think this is in the book, but the, like you said something really inappropriate inadvertently to my mom at dinner. At yeah. dinner, like we were making a joke. I can't even remember what it was about. It was I about like, UFOs, it. and you. I remember the joke. Do you want to tell it, or is it too bad? It's super inappropriate. And Shane got so embarrassed <laughs> right after because I was like, seriously? And he was like, oh my God, oh my God, I didn't mean to. And he was like almost in tears. So. Everyone thought it was hilarious except for Hannah. Yeah, because and I was me, like, I was like oh, and God. I was the only one not drinking. So like everyone else uh, was like, ha ha. And I was like, oh my God. So let's move on to like 11, 12 at night. Parties winding down and Hannah and I go to the guest room where we'll be staying. Luckily, it was in the basement. It was like a walkout basement, so it was accessible. Yeah. And it had its own bathroom. It's this like nice, big, finished basement. Yeah. It was really lovely. It was amazing. And by that point, I was like doing better because I hadn't like pounded yeah. drinks all night. Like, don't think that I was like out of it. Like, well, I, I you were a little out of it. <laughs> but I wasn't like dead. No, I was, no, like, no. Like, coherent. Yeah. Um. So we're like getting ready for bed. I remember Hannah was like, do you want to, like, use the bathroom or anything like that, wash up? I was like, I'm tired, like, let's go Pass on all of that. Yeah, no. Big no. Um, So we get in bed. Being away together and sleeping together were still, like, very exciting. I think we were, like, childish and giddy and, like, you know, we weren't comfortable yet. No. Like, obviously, we were comfortable together, like... But it was still like a little bit like butterflies in your stomach. I mean, I don't really feel butterflies in my stomach when we get yeah, down now. Like, but I did that. <laughs> you don't feel butterflies probably in the bed with me. Every anymore. night? No, I don't get butterflies every night. But back then, I was like, oh my God. Back then, yeah, it was still that point where we were like kind of nervous about everything, yeah. you know? Like, we had expressed it, like, we really, really felt it for each other. And we were in love. Um, but still playing that game of like, yeah, like trying to impress the other. And yeah, which is long gone apparently. Long gone. Remember <laughs> that. Fast forward to about two a.m. We'll say I don't remember what time it was. I wake up and I have stolen all of the covers, and she always does. I do. Her nickname is Squirmy. <laughs> Why is it Squirmy, Hannah? Because I squirm around in bed. Uh huh. I roll around a lot. I move a lot. My mom used to say when I was little, when we would like share, I mean, I used to go into my parents' room when I was like five, you know, for a nightmare or whatever, <laughs> and I would fidget. And like when we had to share beds in a hotel room, she would be like, stop fidgeting. Like everyone hates sharing a bed with me because I fidget. Shane calls it squirming. Yeah. Good, good thing my nickname isn't fidget because that's, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I guess actually fidget is probably way more normal than squirming. Fidget. fidget and drugs. The channel is officially fidget and grubs though. So. I wake up, and I have taken all the blankets. I can tell that the room we're in is very cold, but I am drenched in sweat. Like, every pore of my body is dripping with sweat. And there's this weird, weird feeling in my stomach, like a gurgling kind of, bleh, I've been drinking. So I feel kind of like, oh, I might go up, like, this is so bad. I realize, like, I need to wake kind of up and, like, figure out what to do. So I say, Hannah, can you wake up? I need you to roll. I need you to roll over. And I remember you, like, you not like, like, made a noise and moved my leg. And I was like, nope, not it. I did the old Hannah, nope. I was Poor like, no. me, sleepy me. Hey, Hannah, just wait, just amazing. Yeah. I was like, can you please wake up? I like, something's wrong. And what she responded will forever be stuck in my brain. She goes, I'm just looking for the vein. I was asleep, I was dreaming. Searching for my vein. <laughs> Apparently. I didn't say your vein. I was looking for the vein. Well, you know? there's also the vein that you're looking for. <laughs> I'm in my own vein. I don't know. I don't know what I was dreaming. And the feeling of needing to let go up 
it was getting more and more intense. So oh. I was like, Hello, uh, you gotta wake up. Something's wrong. And you wake up. Yeah. What do you remember? Honestly, the first thing I remember is Wait, like. Hold on. I have a giant I see hair. It. I see it. Oh, oh no, it's still there. Oh, I got it. No, it's still there. Shane. Do you have it? I have oh, you it. have it. Can't. I'm always finding her hair. It is my hair. All over me. <laughs> I shut a lot. Anyway. Anyway, the first thing I remember is reaching over for Shane and like my hand came away wet. Like he was so sweaty. And I'm sorry to the the family whose bed we were uh, in. No. <laughs> Cause you sweated on their sheets. But um yeah, he was so sweaty. So I rolled him over and he's like moaning and groaning and I'm like, what is he gonna throw up in? Like I need to find a bucket or whatever. And so you were like, I need I need to throw up. And so I was like, okay. And I start getting out of bed, and I remember you were like, I need you to stop moving right now. Because I guess, like, my movement. Oh, I had asked you to get my pee jar. Oh, is that what it was? Not I, like it. My 2 a.m., like, nauseous, fever dream, <laughs> drop brain. I'll solve it. Was like, oh, wait, maybe if I pee, <laughs> that'll solve everything. Uh, so I was like, can you get my pee jar? Yeah. And you begin to move, and at that moment, well, wait, we have the excerpt of what I felt at that moment. All right. I very abruptly realized I was not going to throw up, but something else was going to happen. All right. He says, I focused all of my mental and physical energy on not throwing up. When the contents of my stomach realized that the northern passageway had been sealed off, they made an about face and set off toward the southern exit with gusto. Their journey was not a quiet one. The army trudged along, beating their drums, thrusting their torches into every inner crevice, stabbing my organs with their pitchforks, and bellowing their haunting war cries. The outward manifestation of this violent internal siege laid upon my bowels was just a soft, repeated moan escaping from my lips. It probably seemed like I was actively possessed by a demon. I was like, Hera, Hera. Oh, I think I'm gonna have diarrhea. I hopefully, hopefully, I didn't cry it like that, but it probably <laughs> was like. Probably did. I was like, I think I'm gonna have diarrhea. <laughs> and he was trying to impress me. Let's not forget like, oh, yeah. the setting of this. And now he's telling me he's having di- this is his first diarrhea. Yeah, right? you normally help me go poop, like once. maybe once before. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, it must have gone. It wasn't our once. first no trial, but maybe one time. So. Yeah. I'm still feeling a little bit weird about that. So I was like, ah, I think I'm going to have diarrhea. We need to get to the bathroom right now. So I really quickly went and found his toilet seat. Shane's screaming like, hurry, I need you to hurry. Maybe explain what the toilet seat is. Yeah, the toilet seat is literally just like a toilet seat. It's blue. I don't know if that helps anybody. It's a ring. It's a light blue ring, and it just makes the toilet seat like a little bit smaller. Like it sits on. It's like a potty chair for a kid. Yeah, it's like your baby. But know? it's not. It's like flat, and it's not a potty seat. Well, yeah, it's like yeah. It just makes the hole smaller. I have a tiny butt. Okay, let's not beat around <laughs> the bush. Let's not beat around the butt. I have a tiny butt. Okay. Yeah, I just make sure that Shane fits nicely on the toilet instead of falling in. Yeah. So. I kind of like passed out at that point, and I remember waking up in Hannah's arms, being carried to the bathroom, oh. moaning. I was like, "Uh," <laughs> and I like look up at your face, and you're like angelic, and like <laughs> like your hair is blowing in the wind, and I was like, "Wow, you're beautiful!" Like, <laughs> I'm about to poop all over you. Hurry the hell up. Jokes aside. This was a big moment for us, uh, and I wrote about why. But this was our first, like, I guess, you know. You rescued me from yeah. having diarrhea all over the bed. Yeah, and we had to deal with it together, you know. It was oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah. this is real, like, you know, this is all of, like, our lives, like, being shared together. So we're going down the hallway. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's like, this is about to be the worst moment of my life. Okay, so here is Shane's recollection from that moment. That dark moment. Here I was, in the midst of a full-on catastrophe, ravaged by what was about to be an atomic finale. I was cold and sweating and scared and naked and vulnerable, 
and yet I felt no semblance of the embarrassment that you might expect. In fact, as she lowered me onto the toilet and the guttural splashes filled the room <laughs> with sounds and smells, she began to laugh and rub my back while keeping me steady atop the toilet. Love is a difficult feeling to describe, but I can assure you it feels something like that moment when the whole crazy mess of it reduced me to shaking laughter in her arms. Aww. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Krabs. Um, yeah. We do I, that like most nights now when you poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's our <laughs> normal ritual. And I put it in the toilet. It's usually atomic, right? Yeah, it's atomic, and nobody laughs about <laughs> we it. We laugh when I rub his back. <laughs> no, no. I mean, so I doubt we made it to the toilet because. That would have been a you know, different story, I guess. If you had pooped all over the carpeting of my childhood friend. <laughs> Imagine going upstairs and being like, like, ah. <laughs> she had an accident. Something happened. And you need a new carpet. Oh my god. Oh wow, I never thought about that. Like, yeah. Because wow. that was all white carpeting down yes. there. That would have been horrible. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were that close to actually pooping on the carpet. What? Like, I've had emergencies, but I don't think I would be, if I was being carried, I don't think I would poop on the carpet. Yeah, it was, it was ready. Yeah, it was ready. <laughs> well, how did you, like, process all that? Like, like, holding me as I'm Well, I was, like, that? half asleep, which helped, you know, because I, I was yeah. still looking for the vein. <laughs> I was so out of it, and, you know, it was just... What was I gonna do? It was funny when you were like, "Oh, thank God!" Like it was just a funny moment of like, "Thank God we made it." That was and probably one of the hardest laughs yeah. that we've ever had together. Yeah, just like me blowing <laughs> it out, and both of us just like dying. We were laughing uh -huh. so hard. Everyone who doesn't like like bathroom talk, we oh, yeah. always get lots of comments about that. They're gonna be really upset about this, this video. A terrible video for you. Terrible video for you. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Spoiler, but it's too late now. Don't read Shane's books either. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more bathroom stuff. All right. That's our love story. That's our love story. Bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> did you cry? Did you, did you use the tissues? <laughs>